Hey guys, what is up? And today, I've been working on something all last night. This is a timer, a five minute timer to for the command blocks. So you can set time day. You can have these on your server, which would be freaking awesome because um, people can't spam it. You press the button. What it does is it sets off this command. Well, it throws a block down into here. And then the redstone sets off this. And then it will set, it will keep this piston here powered, so no more power will be able to get through it. See, that's not getting through there, so they can't sit there and spam it. So they have to wait five minutes till this light burns out, and then they can set it to day again. Let me show you an example. When I, when, this is how it's all going. The dispenser drops a item into the pressure plate there, and. Items take five minutes to despawn on ground, so after five minutes this would despawn and the redstone would deactivate due to the item dropping on the pressure plate, pressure plate <laughs> making the redstone positive, and this is an inverter, so it's inverting it. I am not the best with redstone, so yeah, but I mostly learn stuff from just fucking around with redstone. I can never watch tutorials or anything like that. It confuses the shit out of me. I'm more of a gotta learn it myself guy so as you can see here when I press the button nothing happens but if I pick up this block you'll see it restart see? Whoop. there we go now what this does is this here this dispenser here I gotta put a block here or else it will spit out over the pressure plate when I press this here look at the pistons and stuff on the right see now this one pulls back and it will not activate again till the five minutes since this is on now I'm going to show you guys the little tutorial of it so hope you guys enjoy let me show you a little preview again BAM day no spamage wait till this light is off let me show you the light when you pick it up and see the light is off and the light is on so there you go guys now to the tutorial alright guys for starters you're going to make a little wall so you can put your button on and stuff I like to put the emerald block because as my little sister says that little spot there looks like it's meant for a button so there you go now next thing you want to do is put some blocks behind it go one two three four five six seven out this is not too compact I'm pretty sure you guys can make it even more compact because I'm not the best. I destroy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out. Now you're gonna put a redstone. Redstone here. One, two, three, three out. Put a repeater there. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not the best at this either. Like I don't know how I did it like that. And then you're going to need to go to the left go oh, one two three there's a two it's two you put a block here I put emerald because that reminds me of um what the hell is going on basically emerald blocks represent things that are like serious shit it's like the button the pistons <laughs> all right so over here whoop, getting a little bit of lag it's probably because my fraps folder is like nearly full annoying me Put that there. A vast virus database has been updated. Okay, I just got a really loud vast message. And then what you're going to do is put don't worry about what I just did here. Forget about that. Put a dispenser right here. Put items of choice in there. You can put like stone, dirt, since nobody wants to really waste dirt, you might as well just throw that in there. Um so yep, yeah, and then you need to get a pressure plate, which is in the redstone area. Alright, pressure plate, drop it right down underneath it. Then make a little wall thing above around it. For now we're just gonna go like that so we can see what the hell's going on. Make a little hole underneath the pressure plate. The redstone there. Uh right here. And bring it up. Yeah, just bring it up there. And then you just go and cover that all up. And there you go, like, you know, can't get out now. 
And when a block drops into here, the pressure plate should activate the redstone. And then what you're going to do is put a little, you get a redstone light inverter, I think they're called. As I'm saying, I'm not the best guy, so <laughs> don't put it there. Sorry, that was a real big mistake. Put it like this and like that. So that's powered off. Now get your, is that a piston? Oh, it looks like a, it looks a lot like a furnace. I just <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> All right, let's actually bring this back one because it's too close. So over to here, there, put the torch there, put this here, get this going up here, get the redstone going here to that. Now what that does is it should uh, um, <laughs> um is that three from the that's the first one or is that the last that's the last one. Alright. So over to where this redstone is, you're gonna set up another piston which is one two three three blocks out so we don't want it snapping off our redstone here no that's a bad thing to do emerald block because that's how i roll homies <laughs> i'm such a nerd and then get some redstone going over to this piston here and what should that do that doesn't seem to do anything at the moment since that's inverted and the power's not getting to it. So you're going to put a block here, put a repeater there, and then press the button. Uh, dope, Johnny, seriously. I think I just derped it even more out. Oh shit, I just broke the locket. Did I? Yeah, I'm doing something wrong. Give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, so instead of having it like this, push it one more back. Sorry about the confusion, guys. Hope you're sticking with me. <laughs> and put the redstone over here to here, to this piston here. Make sure these repeaters here uh, in line with this so when the block comes here the redstone will push through and activate this piston here when you get it right here let me just fly around slowly so you guys get the drift of what's going on because I'm really stupid with the redstone and that's how I normally get the drift of how people are making it and when the button is pushed it should look like that see bam tool. and it goes off now here this one should go to this one, I'm pretty sure. Like that. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, guys. Just destroy those three redstone that was right here. Oh, shit, Jesus Christ! <laughs> the three redstone that was just here. Sorry about that. That's another fuck up I did. Get rid of that. Just delete that. And it should look like this. Like this. There's a little display. And pick up the items from the fuck ups. And it should look like this when it's not, when it has no items before you've even pressed it. It should, uh, blah, blah, whatever that is, is powering this constantly. So this will stay on. And then when you press the button, it inverts because the item is dropped on here. And the power inverts it to a negative. So that will never go positive again until that despawns. So, yeah, there you go. That's a five minute timer delay. So no one on your server spams it. And I think it's a cool feature because, like, it's just simple and easy and it's just gets the you know stops people from spamming and no one freaking wants time day every five seconds five minutes is all right if you i don't know creative or something i don't know if you guys will even use it but 
I just started playing around with the with the code with the uh, the command blocks and I'm really loving them at the moment so also what you're gonna do is to set up this little clock just get some redstone well not set up the, clock, the redstone thingy redstone torch to make it on and then when it's off you can press it again so they know the indication of when it's ready to go make sure the redstone's going up here put a block down put redstone on top of it get a torch slap that on there go like that and it should be like that because a positive it's positive redstone creating it to negative which isn't affecting the torch at all but when you press the button when you press the oh the item's still there <laughs> see there you go it's ready to go so you just throw a few signs up like this press button when light is off the light is still on because that item in there hasn't despawned yet it's been hasn't been five minutes and time set delay anti-spam little system here's my night button and it's ready to rumble Oh, we haven't set up the command block. Dope. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And then you get to put a command block somewhere where the pressure plate is getting thing from. Go time set zero. And let me just grab that little. Hopefully it doesn't not nah, doesn't block update. So when you press the button, there you go. Shazam! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, subscribe, share if you want to, if you want to be a little bit friendly. And yeah, this is my little Minecraft tutorial thing. I'm in a really happy mood today because I just passed my piece so I can drive by myself. Hell yeah. And I will be leaving now and posting more awesome shit for you guys because I love you guys. Full hammer. Now this is awkward.